Hi, in this video I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do with 10% so that by the end of this video you should be able to find more percentages of quantities based on the 10%. So let's take a look at some of the things that we can do. If I wanted to find say 10% of $80 which is this example that I have here I just need to remove the zero at the end of the $80 to get $8. But what if I wanted to find something else besides 10%? What if I wanted to find 20, 30, 40, or 50%? Well, for 20%, that's just going to be two lots of whatever 10% is, or two lots of $8. So 20% is $16. 30% is the same thing, where I can find 10%, but just times it by three and get $24. Same thing with 40%. Four lots of $8 is going to give me 40%, which is $32. 50% going along the same pattern, Eight lots of five because it's eight lots of um, sorry it's five lots of ten percent or five lots of eight dollars and it gives me forty dollars. Remember that fifty percent is also a half, so I could have just halved the eighty dollars to get forty dollars. But still, ten percent is really useful in that way in that it works for any multiple of ten. So what about some other things that you can do with ten percent? Well, like remember ten percent is eight dollars, but what if I wanted to find five, fifteen, or twenty-five? Well. 5% is just going to be half of whatever 10% is. And half of 10% or half of $8 is going to be $4. What if I wanted to find 15%? Well, 15% is going to be 10% and 5%. So if I add those two together, if I add the 8 and the 4, I get $12. See how I can find other percentages of $80 or any number for that matter, as long as I know what 10% is. What if I wanted to find 25%? Well, 25% is 10% plus 15% or $8 and $12, which in this case is $20. Remember how 25% though is also 20% and 5% or that it's also a quarter? You could have also have divided by 4 to get your same answer. There's lots of different ways of getting the same answer. You just need to find the best one for you. But there are even more things that you can do with 10% rather than just finding 10, 20, 30, 40% or even 5s, 10s, 15s, 20s and 25s. For instance, Remember that 10% is $8? That's a really good one to start with. Well, from that, I can find 1%, 2%, and 3%. You see, 1%, we could just take our amount and divide by 100, or we can take 10%, the value for 10%, and divide it by 10. That means that I'm going to take my $8 and divide it by 10 to get 80 cents. That's what 1% of $80 is. See, that's important because now I can find 2% just by doubling it or timesing it by 2. So, 2 lots of 80 cents is going to be $1.60. Similarly, for 3%, 3 lots of 80 cents is going to give me $2.40. Is there anything else that we can do with 10%? Absolutely. Well, what if I wanted to find 11%? Well, much in the same way that we found 15%, if I wanted to add 10 and 1% together, or $8.80 together, that will give me 11% of $80, which is $8.80. And you can combine any number of percentages to find other percentages of quantities. For instance, we could find 12% by adding 10 and 2% together, or 13% by adding 10 and 3 together. Any more? Well, yes, there is, but we'll look at that another day. So what should you get? What should you write down for to get the best out of this video? Well, on the left-hand side, we have different percentages and what we do to 10% in order to get them. For example, for 20%, we take 10% and times it by 2. On the right hand side, we have different percentages of $80 from our three examples that I think you should write down in order to get a good idea on how to find different percentages. And that's it. Hopefully now you can find more percentages of quantities all based on that 10%. Good luck.